So here we have the green apple crusher uh, with flywheel. The flywheel is to make it a lot easier to munch the apples. Uh, you can see this one's on a Zimmer frame, but you can put it between two tables, between two chairs, anything to get the height right. Uh, you can see I've clamped it, but that's mainly because I'll be videoing today and it stops it moving around too much. Uh, obviously there is the option of uh, the green apple crusher with flywheel and a stand and that will make it uh, a bit easier to get the height right and you just put your tub underneath uh, and then you put a bit of oil in the two holes uh, on this side there's one hole there's another uh, on the fifth plastic fittings and on the other side and then your flywheel should move nice and smoothly. Uh, we're going to see how it does with different apples today. Uh, I've just got what I'd call a children's lunchbox apple. Uh, let's put that one in. Uh, right, and turn the handle and it munches through it pretty quickly. Uh, yeah, that's no problem there. If we go up to what I'd call a kind of adult shop apple, uh, let's see how that does. Again, it's not really a problem. Uh, the problem actually comes when you get to these big ones. These are two big Bramleys. This one's a crimson Bramley. A very nice apple, actually. And we're, you can see that because of its size, it gets a bit of bobble on it. Actually, it is, the hooks are eating into it a bit, not too badly. But you will get much more bobble with this. Uh, and uh, so it's probably much easier if you get a big Bramley uh, to cut it in half. Or if you get a monster one, it's even easier to quarter it. Uh, here we've got a much larger one. And, uh, especially if you've got an assistant, uh, it's very nice to uh, halve them and then they'll go through with no problem. Uh, hopefully into your tub below. And let's have a look at the pulp that we've just made. Uh, uh, kind of pea-sized pieces, I would say. And uh, now if I give them a squeeze, this is what will be happening in your press. The juice will be coming out, no problem. Very nice. So uh, they come flat packed. Uh, like I say, uh, they take about half an hour to put together. Uh, perhaps you're, if you're my age, you'll need some reading glasses for the small uh, Phillips screws on the hopper. Uh, they're quite awkward whilst the nuts and bolts uh, on the frame are fairly easy. Uh, and this is the wooden handle on top. Normally you'd be using that to press down with uh, to stop the machine moving around too much. Uh, but obviously I couldn't do that today. And uh, the result should be a very nice juice or even cider.